Will gastric acid dissolve a fork if left by itself on a shelf? Let's find out! I was cleaning out my chemistry shelf and some of my equipment, and I came across this, which I had totally forgotten about. Turns out, about a year ago, I made an episode on gastric acid and the acids that your body makes naturally, and that's what helps you dissolve your food. We had a lot of fun with that episode where we could uh, see how much an apple dissolved in hydrochloric acid if you didn't chew it up or anything, and we managed to make a nice hydrogen explosion by dropping some aluminum inside of it. Anyways, if you want to go check that out, click on this link up here and you get to see me in a terrible haircut and glasses because I just had eye surgery right before I filmed that one. So yeah, go check it out. Anyways, we replicated what gastric acid actually was and I had a little bit left over. So I threw it into a beaker that I had laying around and then I put a fork in it. So this has been sitting here pretty much doing absolutely nothing for a year and it's been sealed. By this time the gastric acid is completely neutralized so it's not going to do anything else the longer I leave it. So I'm looking forward to seeing whether or not the fork has tarnished or whether it has absolutely no effect whatsoever. I really don't know. I'm also wanting to film this now because I want my beaker back and I'm tired of having it filled with gastric acid and a fork. So this is serving multiple purposes and let's see what this fork looks like. Okay, so it's it's black. Is that just the surface? Also, this used to be clear, so obviously something has been happening to the uh, gastric acid. Wipe this off. Yeah, sure enough. Look at that. I can wipe that off almost perfectly. Huh. Okay, so it's taken the finish off. It's no longer shiny. It's roughened up, so it did dissolve a little bit of the steel inside of the gastric acid. So if you were to eat a stainless steel fork, yeah, it's going to cause problems long before your stomach starts dissolving it. Although, looking right at the tip here, this is actually way sharper than what it was when it went in. These, are, these have been sharpened, so it did dissolve it quite a little bit. That's awesome. This is just a shorter episode because I just wanted to film seeing what would happen because uh, this is about what I expected. There's a very small surface roughening. Uh, the finish is taken off. Other than that, not much happened. But now I have my beaker back and I've shown you as well. So this is Destructive Creativity. See you next time. Bye!